your first question right now should be how is this saying hi on the screen right especially when we just have it here in JavaScript how is it automatically showing up here right that's your first question that should be your first question so let me break it down to you guys automatically since we set up the webpack and you know we set up everything here I have you know automatic reload every time that we save set up for you so you should be fine you don't have to reset every time you do a change everything should be there um, we also have you know some settings that we put here on the plugins so what this does is basically takes our JSX which is like HTML and JavaScript because we did that here it compiles it to this file here JavaScript components hyper and then this is how it looks right so remember over here in view that was a function so what is returning back is a way to hyper app you know create this element on the screen so it's looking at this it's saying okay hyper run this h1 you know create a h1 tag uh, no attributes and it has inside of it state dot message okay so that's just regular vanilla JavaScript if you guys want to look into this all right now the other question is how is this showing up on the page especially we haven't chosen an element so we could actually mess around with like we haven't chosen an element to say hey hyper app add this message hi to this element we haven't done that but hyper app behind the scenes does this automatically on the body tag if we come here you will see that I added it by itself so it basically appended it to the body tag if that makes sense okay so that's one of the things that I wanted to show you guys now if we come here and we look at this and we pay attention to what's inside of this function we have an object right so we have app which is what we imported and then we have a function so then inside of it the argument is an object in this object it has multiple options right multiple uh, multiple properties so basically you have state you have view now if we wanted to choose something else like we have here on the API which I will recommend everybody to check it out you know all the things that you can do with it all right you have root all right now root we can come here and actually decide to put it in a certain element instead of us going automatically replacing everything in and adding it to the body tag here because that's what it's doing adding it to the body tag instead of doing that let's say we want it inside of ID app okay so what we're going to do here is we're gonna say something like this we're gonna come here and say roots just like the example here right and then here we're going to put in the element so just regular JavaScript we can come here and say document dot get element by ID and then we come here say app now let's see that run everything is fine and it's showing up on the screen and we come here and say uh, something like this hi Joe no change refresh the page as you can see here every time we save something it compiles the JavaScript and then shows it here all right and that my friends is how you basically display an app or a component onto the page all right so I'll see you guys in the next video this is your boy Joe back at it again I didn't did it again man I came up with this new course hyper app JS course guys if you want the full course and you don't want to wait for the videos on YouTube make sure you go to the website you know codingface.com is going to bring you here to the store there's gonna be a whole bunch of courses of course you could just sign up for the get all access pass and yeah whenever you use the description 
below and you use the link through there guys you're gonna get 50% off all right i'll see you guys later bye